What's going on everybody, Advisor Lizard here back in with another video and today. We got the Flash Series 1 packs in the store today. Um, I, I don't know how to feel about it. It's kind of like the same thing as last year with the Flash and the Glitch card. Uh, but it seems like this year instead of going like a glitchy player in a glitchy position, they're more going glitchy stats. Um, so for this case, it is a John Stockton who can actually dunk. Um, we're also going to be getting our weekly reward here, getting our weekly wheel spin. I figured I'd show you guys this, um, see what, we, what <coughs> excuse me, what all we can pull. Um, as you can see here, there's some packs, there's some diamond stuff. There's a lot of tokens. My guess is we'll get tokens or MT. Um, as, ooh, or might get that 10K if we're lucky. No, band, we're getting five tokens. Definitely not something I needed. Um, but as you can see on the top right, I also have 75K VC. Uh, so we definitely have enough to open a few packs here for you guys I and mean, we'll go we'll just hop right into it we'll do a little 10 pack box on um, these are the players we have a pink diamond brandon roy a diamond john stockton glitch card diamond kevin durant who looks like a beast amethyst boards who looks actually actually like a decent card and a ruby um <laughs> brian scalabrine uh this honestly this john stockton is much better than brandon roy uh, and i definitely feel like this year you can use the shorter guards um, more so than you could last year. Uh, we'll take a look at the odds. You only have a 2% chance of pulling a 92 plus, but I believe that is actually the highest of all the packs right now. Um, yeah, because you have a less than 2% chance of pulling a 92 plus in this, uh, which, you know, less than two probably means like 0.1. So at least we know this one's two. And then what was that? We have a 29% of pulling um, the 87. So you have a more chance of pulling a lower overall in that one than you do in this one. You have a higher chance of pulling a higher overall. But let's just jump right into it. Let's open up a 10-pack box. See if we can't get lucky. See if we can't pull anything cool. Uh, I don't know. My pack odds this year, <laughs> the pack like this year for me has been very, very, very bad. Um, this seems to be basically what all my packs look like. Um, is this uh, whole gold, emerald, sapphire kind of deal. Not, not too many rubies. I have pulled Paul George quite a bit. As Once again, we don't get anyone good. We pull a bronze player here, Justin Patton, but gold hot zone hunter is worth a lot. That's something else I think you guys should look at is definitely look at your badges. Um, there's a lot of badges that have a lot of value uh, that you can have in the game, especially like ones like Ranger Extender, like Clamps, um, gold <coughs> hot zone hunter, green machine, excuse me. Those are all very, <coughs> excuse me, very good ones. Dimer as well. We get two Sapphires here as we get Kemba Walker and Bradley Beal. We're on pack six of 10, still nothing crazy. Still nothing crazy as we get Daniel something, wasn't even paying attention. And I'm a little quick with these, but you know, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like that we have that little like crazy animation um, when you know you pull something good uh, because it kind of just gives it away. Like I know I don't have anything good in this pack, so I don't even wanna like waste your time and be like, oh, I might've gotten something. Do you get Chris Paul, who is a very, very good card. Very, very much so recommend using that card for anyone that's using a budget team. Even if you're not using a budget team, and this is probably Brian Scalabrine here, is it is Paul George, not Brian Scalabrine. Um, I've that has just been the card that I pulled the most this year. As we get another Ruby, please be Brian Scalabrine, and it's not. <sighs> well, okay, well, you've seen my pack odds now, you kind of know what it's like. Uh, I really don't pull anything ever. <laughs> I didn't even pull Brian, didn't pull Boris. We'll pull one more pack uh, with my VC because we have enough for it. And we might as well indulge as we get a silver. Welcome to my pack odds, people. Uh, it's been pretty bad. I, I, you know, I really haven't been ripping packs that much with VC, um, mostly MT, just because I like opening packs. I'm not too good at saving that MT, and that's fine. Um, but it's just been really, really rough. Like I just feel like I don't get anything. Uh, for those of you guys wondering, this is what the John Stockton's look like. It's a very, very good card. I mean, four Hoff badges, which is great. A bunch of golds. They're all the golds that you'd want in a point guard. Great stats, can shoot, can definitely dunk because it's for whatever reason John Stockton and they gave him the uh, tendencies. Ball control is great, it's John Stockton, steals great, speed's great, vert's not the best but that's okay. I mean this is probably the best point guard in the game right now. Um, and then of course we have the rest of the set which is the flash set where we have this you know pink diamond Brandon Roy who's probably a great great card not gonna lie. Uh, wish I could use him but uh, you know just probably gonna be a little too expensive for me um kevin durant as well another good card to use um which is interesting because here we can compare him to a 95 free agent uh, and it seems like they actually made this one better at defense um than the other one did but then this one to my right the free agent obviously this one doesn't have the badges you have to boost most of those yourselves uh but 
same three. Um, this one's actually better at quite a few things. Um, ball control's there for sure. Uh, that defense just isn't really super there, but that rebounding is. Um, speed's there. Vert's not crazy, but, you know, it's Kevin Durant. Wilson, he wasn't really flying out of the gym, to be honest. Um, we got Boris Diaw, who, I mean, to be honest, if you guys need, like, a budget stretch four, I think this would be your guy. I mean, he is 6'8". If we compare him to this Luis Scola, I don't know what Boris's shot looks like, but look at those badges. I mean, that's a lot of badges um, for one player to have. Uh, and his passing has always been really good. That's something that's very underrated about Boris Dio. I mean, he can literally offensively is just good everywhere. Um, he can do a post fade, he can do a post hook, can do post moves, can do mid range, can do a three pointer, can dunk. Um, look at that ball control 71 ball control. It's really, really solid. 79 block, 69 steal. Very, very just well rounded guy. Um, you can definitely run him at small forward too. That 72 speed's not too bad. 84 strength, it's not terrible. Um, not a bad card at all, to be honest. Very, very well wound, rounded, very versatile card. Um, especially if you run him at the power forward, because I see a lot of people like to run cards like that at power forward. And of course, we got Brian Scalabrine, the GOAT, the legend himself, the man, the myth, the legend, or the man, the myth, the legend is what I should have said to, get, to begin with. Um, but, you know, of course, he's just got all shooting badges, not many defensive. Uh, just basically a shooter. Uh, just the meme card 2K always makes. 75 driving dunk, 75 standing dunk. Of course, has the 90 flashy dunk tendency. <laughs> um, 43 ball control, but 92 pass accuracy. Or IQ, uh, decent defense. Speed is terrible. Strength is terrible. I mean, it, it's basically just a shooter. Um, I wouldn't really... I'd stay away from this card. If anything, I'd, I'd go up <coughs> Excuse me, and commit to this Boris Dio. I think he's going to give you more bang for your buck and be a much, much, much better card. Um, but that's really all I had for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys have better pack luck than I do because my pack luck is terrible. I don't pull anything ever. Um, you know, I don't recommend ever spending VC or using your own money to get packs. I really don't. Especially this year, I just have not seen the pack odds pay out at all. Uh, they've been really, really bad. <laughs> so I strongly recommend just staying away from them, you know, doing your own thing, grinding, saving that MT up for when, you know, maybe the pack cards are good. So, you know, comment down below if what you guys, if you guys have had any crazy pulls, I haven't I'll tell you that much. You guys have seen it? I don't. Um, hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, like if you leave a like, if you enjoy the video, subscribe if you're new here for daily content from yours truly. Um, until next time, peace y'all.